This is Frederick Meekins of the American World View Alert. Former Vice President Dick Cheney said, Donald Trump's proposed ban on Muslims goes against everything we stand for. Is it against everything that Americans that actually work for a living stand for, or merely everything that pre the prevailing globalist elites wanting to enslave humanity in a new world order stand for? Of course, Cheney is opposed to any curtailment of immigration. He needs access to a steady supply of cheap transplant organs. As an advocate for interventionist foreign policy, Dick Cheney justified that on the grounds of standing against belligerent Islam. So why is it do we want those of that particular persuasion to be allowed the opportunity to overwhelm our borders in their mission to spread violence? Dick Cheney wasn't the only public figure or media personality to get swept up in the anti-Trump hysteria. One particular Yahoo headline approvingly intoned, Muslims decry Donald Trump's comments. Too bad the adherents of that particular errant theology aren't as eager to denounce the violence of their co-religionists. According to J.K. Rowling, Voldemort, the antagonist in her Harry Potter series, was nowhere near as bad as Donald Trump. What she is saying is that outright murder, which Voldemort committed against Harry's parents, as well as numerous other characters throughout the series in case Rowling has forgotten, is apparently not as bad as exercising one's First Amendment rights in a politically incorrect manner. Speaking to the issue on the Five on Fox News, Juan Williams articulated his agreement with Hillary Clinton that Donald Trump's suspicions of Muslims are reprehensible. So will Juan Williams also now admit that National Public Radio was correct in condemning his own verbalized reservation about explicit Muslims? Juan Williams remarked in response to Donald Trump's remarks that fear-mongering and demagoguery sell. What, sort of like the current occupant in the Oval Office, applauded along with Williams and throngs of brainwashed drones for accomplishing little more than emerging from his mother's birth canal as half-black. Trump's proposal to ban Muslim citizens from re-entering the United States might go a step too far. However, forbidding the entrance of residents of specific countries is not beyond the bounds of propriety. The United States exists primarily for those categorized as actual Americans. We should be the ones to determine the criteria by which immigrants will be admitted and not the other way around with foreigners dictating these terms. This is Frederick Meekins.